Hey everyone, Coach Critty here again with another activity. This activity is called Tennis Spike Ball. Here is what you're going to need. Five to six cans of food, one tennis ball, and somebody to play with. Okay, so you can do this activity outside like I'm going to show you, or you can do it inside. Let's get started. Okay, make sure you are in a space where the ground is hard, like a deck or a driveway for outside, or wood floors for inside. Set up your cans of food in a circle and stand on the outside across from your opponent. Level one is bouncing the ball inside the circle and catching it with two hands. For a challenge, try catching it with one or try your non-dominant hand. Level two is clapping before you catch it. Start with one clap and then work your way up. In the video, you see my opponent and I doing one clap before each catch. Here, we now change to two claps. How many claps can you fit in before you catch the ball? Level three is when you play for points. Try to make your partner move around the circle. Practice low and high bounces. If your partner misses the catch, you earn a point. Play up to 21. Level four is a level that is played like spike ball. You are not catching it anymore. You must control the tennis ball with an open palm and release it on the third hit. Points are scored when the ball isn't hit back into the circle within the three hits. So if you go over three hits, the ball hits outside the circle or if the ball hits one of the cans. Play it like spike ball, which is played up to 21. You must win by two. boys and girls so that was uh, tennis spike ball hopefully after watching this video you'll want to participate and you'll want to get your family members involved in the activity as well so if you do this activity either inside or outside take a picture or take a video and then tag us on our twitter all right enjoy and have some fun